love everyone tagging me out here and today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 tweaks. Now these are some tweaks that I've currently been enjoying I thought they'd be worth sharing with all of you. So without any further ado, let's talk. So for my first tweak, I have Vintage Switcher, and this is for all of you that are feeling a bit nostalgic and you wanna take your multitask switcher back to how it used to be with iOS 6. So how it works is if you double press your home button, you'll notice that my multitask switcher is no longer that iOS 9 version, it's the iOS 6 version, giving me that classic style of my apps down here at the bottom. If I wanna get rid of an app, I can take my finger and simply swipe up. And if I want to clear all of my apps down here, I can long press, and it then gives me the option to clear all. You do have a few options for Vintage Switcher in your settings. So if you go in there and you tap on configuration, you can turn the tweak itself on or off, which is a must have for me. And you can also choose the activation method to pull up the vintage style switcher. And you can change the animation duration in addition to the icon size of your icons found in the multitask switcher. So you have a few things you can change up a little bit to get it to be more of the way you want. Now, something that I did notice is that when you double press your home button and you see this you don't have the option to slide to the right and see your brightness or your volume controls or anything like that it's just going to specifically show you your apps and your apps only moving on to item number two we have spot alarm this tweak is going to let you go into spotify take a song and set it as the sound for when your alarm clock goes off so how it works is you turn it on and then you're gonna hop into Spotify. And once you're in Spotify, you're gonna hit these three dots, which pulls up the option for you to share the song so that you can then copy the song link. So now that I have that on my clipboard, I can hop back into my settings and down here on the second line, I can paste that link. So now when my alarm goes off, I'll hear this song instead of my default alarm. So to configure it, you would just hop into your clock application now, when you get in here to set your alarm, when you tap on sound, it's not gonna let you see that song in the list. So what you have to do is keep it on the default ringtone that you have set on your device, and then you will hear that song instead. Up next, I have Fern. And what Fern does is it lets you use an activation method to pull up all of your applications. So in my case, I've set mine to be triple pressing my home button. And now you can see my favorite apps. And if I swipe to the left, I can see all of my apps. So in the event that you really like those minimal setups and you want to be able to have a way to pull up all of your apps while just having like maybe three on your screen, this is a tweak that can help you achieve that. So I can just once again, triple press my home button and see my favorite apps or all of my apps. Next, we have movable nine. So if you look at my status bar, you'll notice that my items up there have been switched around. So I have my date over here. So I have my time and date over here in the top left versus in the center. And I have my symbols for my signal strength over here in the top right. This was all done with movable nine. So hopping into the settings for this tweak is where you really do the rearranging of everything. So these are your options up here at the top, but the place that I'm gonna focus on right now is the sort order. So I can tap on that and tell it where I want each individual section to be. So I can tell it that I want the time to be on the left, the battery percent on the right. So this is where you do all of your rearranging of your sections found in your status bar. Next up, we have Respring Progress. And I really like this tweak because when your phone respring's, whether by accident or on purpose, it's nice to know the progress of that respring in terms of it getting back to your lock screen. So with this tweak, you can observe how much longer before it actually finishes respringing and makes it to your lock screen. And that's really all it does. I like this particular tweak because it eliminates the guesswork in terms of when your device respring's. There have been times when my device has resprung and I've been concerned if it was stuck, but now being able to see the progress of it, it kind of eliminates that stress that sometimes would occur when my device would respring. Coming in at tweak number six, we have Reveal NC9. And what this does is it changes how your notification center is revealed. So if I slide down from here, you'll see that the way things are appearing, it's like it's revealing itself versus um, how it normally would come down which I've honestly been running this tweak so long, I forgot how it looks without it. But if you swipe your notification center down right now, you'll see that it does not look like mine. And I like it. It actually makes me sometimes swipe my notification center down just to see this little animation. So like I said, it's subtle, but it changes how your notification center is revealed, just like the title says. And it gives it to me more of a sleek look. So that's reveal NC9. For tweak number seven, we have swipe to delete contact. So this is something that I wish was built into my phone by default, because it seems like second nature to come in here and swipe on a contact to reveal the option to delete it versus actually going into the contact, clicking edit and then delete. So you eliminate some steps so that when you're tired of having that person in your contacts, you can come in here and just swipe on their name 
and have the option to delete that particular contact. Now my next tweak is one of my favorites and it's called Manila because what it does is it gives you the option to force touch on a folder. So when I force touch on a folder, it then reveals a couple of the applications inside. It doesn't allow me to see every last app because as you can see, I can't swipe up and down in here, but I can see the apps in here and just release my finger on the one that I wanna go into. So in the event that I wanna peep in at my health folder, I can use that force touch action and come in here and get a quick glimpse at the applications that I have installed and then just tap on the one I want. I just thought this particular tweet was pretty cool. Next, we have X key, and this gives you a row of numbers right above your letters. So normally to get to these numbers, we hit one, two, three in the bottom left, and it takes us to the option to type in a few numbers. But with X key, it allows you to have those numbers right above your keyboard. The only thing that I noticed about this tweak is that it seems to shrink down the letters on your keyboard to make room for the numbers. So you'll probably notice your keys are a little bit smaller, which for me gave me more typos, but some of you might be able to adjust to it and actually like having that extra row of numbers at the top because it makes it easier to access those numbers while you're typing without having to tap on one, two, three to do so. So you do have some settings for X key, so you can come in here and pretty much customize it to be hopefully more of the way you want it to be. The only thing that I did not discover in there was the option to resize the keyboard, which to me would have been a bonus if I could have, because I would not mind my keyboard taking up just a little bit more space to make those keys a little bit bigger. Now coming in at tweak number 10, we have multi-delete. So in the event you wanna delete a bulk of applications at once, this is the tweak for you. So how it works is you're gonna long hold on an app to delete it just as you normally would, and then you're gonna tap on the apps that you want to remove together. So now if you were to tap on the X up here to delete that one app, it instead says, delete three apps. So it's giving me the option to delete all of those applications that I have tapped on versus just one. So if I were to hit delete, it's gonna remove all three of those, but I don't wanna delete them, so I'm gonna hit cancel. But that's really all multi-delete does. So those are my top 10 tweaks for all of you. If you enjoy this, please be kind and not only hit that like button, but share this video. And also comment down below which tweak out of these 10 did you like the best, which is the one that you downloaded first, if any of them at all. But if that's gonna wrap this video up, if you wanna stay updated on my content, I have some social links down below that you can follow me on, or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button, that way you also know when a video is posted. But that's gonna wrap things up for this one. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you. Hey, yo.